Hello everybody, this is a new video, Thunar, details for B. And we will, uh, in this video, do some cool things, uh, making sure that Thunar, when we create a new Thunar window, that we have uh, the layout uh, we expect. And what I mean by this is that, by default, Thunar opens with the last uh, opened uh, layout. So if I go into dot directory here, for instance, and close, and that have details view or list view here, I close Thunar and then open it again. It opens the home directory in list view. But if uh, we close Thunar with the icon view and open it again, we get icon view. And the state here for Thunar, it is actually stored uh, in this XML file. Here we can see Thunar icon view, it's the last view. So this is stored uh, over when you reboot your computer and stuff, it will know the last view. And this means that it's really difficult to predict which view well, you, you last viewed, so to speak. Especially when you change views all the time, which we are doing now with our, our auto layout script. Another thing is that it also, uh, uh, we have this, we have two Thunar windows. And I think this, this, here it's fine with these gigantic icons, in my opinion. I think it looks nice in the home directory to have this. But uh, for this uh, Thunar B window, I would much rather prefer it to ha have a details view like this. Um, so that's what we're gonna take care of in this video I made. We have the note here. Layout apply. B always list, D follow, D rules. And there is actually a very easy way to, to um, or very easy, but there is a good way to, to make sure we get the right view of, of Thunar. Because here, here we can see, now it also changes the details view, because that's the last view here. With Thunar logic, these properties, this XML file, these settings uh, are the ones that, that we uh, changed when we use these hidden settings, if you remember from that video. We send this xconf query and then you can send uh, uh, a bunch of different hidden. We used it to, to show um, the full path in the title. But you can set all kinds of settings here. And one is this uh, view, last view here. This is the setting. They are so, this command is so incredibly uh, long. But this is a setting we need here. So what, what you can do is I will paste it in here on the command line. Uh, set last view to icon view. And then if we spawn Thunar normally from the command line, now we can see we get this icon view uh, window here. You can do it with Thunar again, icon view. But if we change this to details view, and now the Thunar command, now we get the details view. So this, this is how we will we'll do this. We will uh, send this xconf query command before we, we launch uh, Thunar with uh, our launch.fm script here. And I have prepared it a bit here with a case uh, that compares a rule that we don't have yet. If, it, if the rule is i, icon view, we send xconf query with the icon view uh, thing or otherwise details view. And I, I have learned this and, and understood which settings uh, do what and, and what they are called by, by uh, looking, monitoring this uh, XML file and then comparing the keys and stuff here. That, it's the hard way, but that's how, how I have understood how this works. And you can do all kinds of cool things here, setting the column width to a fixed width and stuff like that, you know and the sort order and what not. Uh, it's really, really good. Okay, okay, so launch FM. As it is now, uh, we just test here, if target container is not B, then we set the default target container is D. That's the only thing we do here, and then we do the i3 run uh, and rename uh, the class to, to our to Thunar D or Thunar B. Now we want to apply uh, specific layouts also depending on the container name. So let's extend this test and create an if of it instead. So 
So, if con target container is not the B container, the target container is D. Else, we could start here with uh, our list view, you know. If it is the B container, uh, do this command xconf query and set the, set it to details view and then we, we execute it we run. And this means that now every time we open this B container it should have a list view no matter what view we, we last was closed. So if I open it here now it should have list view, it does. Uh, even if we change here now to icon view, I close the window. Normally now, without this, our new thing here, it should open in icon view, but we always get the list view. So that's good. Uh, but it's a bit a different story here for, for the D container, uh, which I wanted to uh, follow dir rules. And what I mean by that, because right now we, we know that it always opens a home directory when we execute this tuner command. But uh, in the next video we will uh, extend this so we can pass in uh, any path and it will open that directory. And the D container, I want it to, to compare the path with, the, with our D rules file and then uh, set the layout depending on, on the rule. And here's a good thing that we have separated this D rules and, and the parse rules into separate scripts and functions here. That means we can use that in launch.fm as well. Uh, we could just copy here from update.fm, we have this thing, you know, go back to launch.fm. Uh, and if target container is D, then we also see which uh, rule to apply. Uh, parse rules need a path argument here. And as I said in the next video, we will uh, extend this so we can pass in our, our any path we want. Uh, but sometimes you, you will execute this without any specific path. And then we can set a default path here to uh, home, which we know is, is the Thunar's default. So, so this, this will work. Uh, and now it will get the layout for home, which is I, icon view. Go back to launch FM. <clears throat> and then when we got this, we could do this test here. Uh, and another thing we could do, we can remove this from, from the, when it's the B container, we want it to set it to list view. And that means that the rule is L, as in list view. So we can do this instead and then do this case, see is, is it uh, icon view or list view, send this stuff and after that we uh, execute it we run here. So this should actually work now. Uh, so I close this and we can open a list view directory here now and close this. If I open the main D container it should have icon view now and it does and list view and this. Now uh, it kind of works this in our first draft of this. We, we will um, refactor and rewrite and add a lot of stuff to this. We can take a quick look in my open Thunar open script that I've been using uh, privately uh, where I do all these things. But uh, th th this was um, this is made in a quite different fashion. Uh, I, I, w here I have everything in one single script. Now in this version we, we divide it into different scripts and different functions and even do more things in the Python here. We set the title format and stuff here instead. I did all these things in Thunar Open and, and I think this new method uh, creating uh, separate scripts for different functions is much uh, better and much less confusing to work with. But whatever, uh, next video we have this path argument which is uh, a lot more complicated uh, than it might first sound like. We, we will create a lot of new issues by introducing this but it's... We just have to do it uh, and we will do it. I see you in that video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.